Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Mazda MX-5. It's in a metallic, it's almost like a gunmetal grey I would say, with the 16 inch alloys. They're all in quite nice condition, just a couple of very small marks. I'll show you them all individually. Tiny little dent here on the front arch. There's a little scuff just here as well, I'm going to get the correct colour touch-up stick and um, make that look a lot nicer than it does now, but just for complete transparency, and that's what it started off looking like. I'll pop the boot in a minute so you can see the size of that. difficult to make out a couple of very small dents here as well not anything I think my dent man would be able to get to to be honest I'll just pop that boot so you can see the size of that to do that is down here. Right, so even with the roof down, as you can see, you've got full use of the boots. Uh, there's your lock and wheel nut in there. This is a warning triangle, and I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is, but I'm not going to remove it in case it's integral in some way. Uh, in there is a tyre inflation kit, it doesn't have a spare wheel, so you've got the kit. I've checked that, it's all present and correct, I'll include photos of that. And the jack is stored in there. Have a look inside now. So you've got electric mirrors. That's where you can turn off the front passenger airbag if you want to put a car seat in. Two keys, both the original Mazda remote central locking types. It's a black cloth interior little cubby hole here, that's also where your fuel cap releases, down there. Uh, 72,161 miles. There's your wiper controls, lighting controls. It's got the multi-function steering wheel. There's a parrot system has been put in, as the car doesn't have native Bluetooth, so this is an aftermarket Bluetooth system. I'll, uh, you can see the model number there, but I'll, I'll include that in the advert text as well, so you can give it a Google and see if it's uh, what you're after. So that has a separate little control there, and then a microphone situated over there. There's the radio, so FM, AM, CD, and auxiliary input. The auxiliary inputs are just down there. 12 volt point. There's your aircon controls. Very difficult to get the reflection right on that. There we are. Five speed manual gearbox. Electric windows for the front. In the centre console here, there's a couple of cup holders, and I'm not sure what you can store there coins or pens or whatever. A glove box. There is the Instructions for the parrot system that I mentioned and the Mazda key code. I won't flip that over because you can get a key made with that. Uh, that's also a lead, presumably linked to the radio, for more auxiliary options. That's a uh, USB one in there as well. I've not tested that out, I'll be honest. I don't know if that's still connected. I thought we'd just use this one here, but I don't know. Uh, owner's manual is an original wallet in there as well. So you've got a passenger's airbag over this side and driver's airbag here as well. All right, I'll show you the roof operation now. Quite simple. That's down, that's up. Yeah, 
being it's a tiny car it doesn't take very long and then all you have to do is click that into place and that's it done the reverse operation is exactly the same except you press this button first to release this catch I will go and show you the outside of the car now with the with the top up so there we are it's the roadster model so this is a hard top not cloth obviously as you can see so good for year-round driving hard top itself is in great condition I'll include separate photos of that as well uh, if I've missed anything just please phone up and um, I'll pop out and check for you straight away or obviously you're welcome to come down and view the car in person okay thank you very much for watching